This is a Game Caviar production. Yeah, man. Can you hear me? Yeah. Can't see you, though. Shit. Oh, you don't got a camera, though, right? Hold on. First off, let me introduce everybody. This is not happening in the Game Caviar studio. Uh, dual calm with J, J Beads. I told y'all it was going to happen. 2013. <laughs> Your game caviar, we finally got our crap together. So, yeah, JB, what do you think about this whole deal, and how do you think it will affect GameStop? Man, well, first of all, let me just say, I don't think that's gonna be the only thing affecting GameStop. I mean, on top of that, you got you got things like Steam coming out, you know, releasing games like that with low prices, and right. like that's constantly always giving their quarterly, you know, sales they do, and then on the mad discounts they do, like all the time, crazy. Yeah. So you know, not only are they struggling with that already, but yeah, having these new consoles come out with not even using used games, like yeah. you said, their big target thing was like, hey, bring your games in, we'll buy you games, give you full credit, you know, for other games. Right, yeah. right. But yeah, yeah, because they, they always have to trade in uh, discounts, you know, so that's going to kill a lot of that, or all of it, really, because although they'll still sell the Xbox 360 and PS3 games, you know, it's not gonna transfer into the new generation, and uh, you know the, the the current generation right now is gonna lose a lot of steam once those new consoles get released. So, um, I did read online that that uh, hold on, let me pull it up real quick. Um, uh, the the GameStop has recently they slashed uh, some some store sales forecast, and you know basically it was saying that they projected at the beginning of the year, I guess they projected that certain stores would make this amount of money but yet they had to go down and i go in and revise it and lower that number and uh it, 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 before the new consoles come out they seem to be losing momentum because a lot of people think that they are overpriced yeah no, they, are. No, they are yeah it's, you know it, this economy they are no they, they are yeah <laughs> yeah about. yeah and and it's really starting to bite them now so um I know they recently, because I, I, I do have to power up uh, rewards cards, so they sent me an email that said they slashed the uh, the prices on games and they added the some uh, value to used games. But oh, at yeah. the same time, those are games that, you know, if, let's say I let's say I just traded the game in, you know, and I get a, a, a email saying that okay, well now it's worth more than what we gave you a week ago. You know, it sucks, man. And, and I think they got caught up in trying to be too greedy, and now it's going to come back to bite them in the ass. Yeah. We also have to think as well, just as we're saying, the economy is not that good anyway right now. Uh, the used game thing might not even be so. It might not even affect them at all, thinking about some people can't even afford to buy those next-gen consoles that come out. But yeah. they might just suck with the original consoles still using those games, you know. And the people who can't afford it, they're going to trade all their games to get maybe a discount on that new console. Yeah. And I, it might help them out in the long run. Who knows? We'll see. It's going yeah. to be crazy. But the, for, these, for these new consoles not to utilize, I mean, being anti-used games, like... Right. I, don't know, I don't know what the companies are thinking about that. I don't think they were thinking too much. Well, the thing Maybe is... Maybe trying to move forward. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe it's just trying to forget about the past and move forward and get, I don't know, new technology or something with the new game cards and everything they're putting in there, graphics cards and everything. And Yeah, it, I think it's... Uh, I read something earlier this year, or, well, late last year, that said that uh, developers, they lose a lot of money off of used games. Right. Because when you buy a game... The money, the first time the money goes to the developer and the store or whatever, however it's divided. When you trade that game in and somebody else buys it, the developer doesn't get any money off that game. I believe that all that money goes straight to GameStop. So, oh wow, <laughs> yeah. So That's they crazy. lose a lot of money when people trade in games. I believe it's a developer pushing the the console makers into putting this technology into the new consoles. And uh, it's still rumored right now, but it it, it depends. I, I think it's going to happen, and it, it's a shame to do that. I don't think it's coming necessarily from Microsoft or Sony, but more of the developers that make the games right. for the consoles. So you got to think too; they might not be focusing so more on these consoles anymore. You got to think well, what's out there right now: tablets, phones. People right. are using uh, the, those streaming boxes they got. Right. But basically, computers which are already above those consoles are in graphics wise. Mm-hmm. So they might just start to be leaning more towards those kind of things. Forget about actual disc games and the whole, the whole thing. You know, just sticking with downloadable games. Yeah. That might be like the new thing coming up. 
Yeah, and, it, and it, I think it will be because it, you know Microsoft and Sony have bought both bought game cloud gaming based services, right? And um, they they're, they're going to be implemented into the next gen consoles. And right now, you can buy brand new games and just download them. You don't have to uh, uh, buy the the disc or anything like that. So digital gaming has become a big thing on consoles and especially on tablets and cell phones, and uh, even on like the PlayStation Vita. You know. Right. Uh, so I think that's that that would be a better way of going about um, stop preventing people from using used games is to really push the digital content right. as opposed to the disc based content. But um, but yeah, man, it was just crazy seeing that how they how they're just going to do that and then doing some research on it and actually finding out what was going on. And it, I mean, it, it's actually mind blowing. It is. It is. And I honestly think it might affect GameStop. In the beginning, maybe just a little bit, but I think in the long run they might be alright. As long as, as long as they can stay competitive, maybe lower a couple prices here and there, be more flexible, yeah. uh, have more seasonal sales. I noticed, uh, one time I traded some games, they had like a special going on, uh, used games that were taking more and they're adding actually percentage to it. I think they were like 50% more, uh, trading value than right. normal. Right. And, you know, things, so doing things like that is gonna keep them afloat. Yeah. You know, but trying yeah. to stay too competitive and be like you said, being greedy and, yeah. uh, trying to keep those prices up and like hardly giving you any money. For your used games and stuff, and they got matter of fact, they got uh, I can't remember exactly what site it is, uh, but they got that new site where you can actually trade your game in for more than an install game would give you. Oh, okay. You yeah, it cool. online, matter of fact. You see a commercial for it every now on TV. Okay, so. I, yeah, I didn't know that, but yeah, that's that's crazy. I will say in this article that I got, it said that the uh, the pre-owned category of video games declined fifteen point six percent as limited inventory uh, due to fewer game fewer new titles released throughout 2012 and less promotional activity negatively impacted sales compared to last year uh that's the quote from GameStop so they kind of they're really pointing the finger both ways but like I said I think you hit the nail on the head when you said the economy has a lot to do with it like last year yeah. was really bad economy wise for the world not just in one country you know it was, right. Like a worldwide economy uh, crisis, and it, it well, still kind of sort of is. You know, we're just yeah. one month into 2013, but it's kind of uh, hard to tell with these whole Black Friday stuff that's just happening because I mean, those stores are packed. Yeah, I know. People were I buying know. things, but I mean, it's kind of yeah. I, hey, when I went to Toys R Us for Black Friday, they were giving a game, buy one game full price, get one for a dollar. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, I, I bought the brand new Need for Speed game for a dollar. So, um, yeah, and that was the first time I ever seen a deal. I've seen some really good Black Friday deals, but that one was like. That was the the big one, you know, um, but but I think that this year they're not going to have to worry about the, the limited amount of video games being released. Right. So it's so many big name uh, titles coming out. I mean, even on Nintendo, uh, the Wii U, and you got the new consoles that's going to be uh, uh, revealed later on this year at uh, E3. Many new big games are coming out this season. GameStop is going to have to put themselves in a position to really. Uh, not screw themselves over, and the only yeah. way to do that is to take care of the customer, man. I mean, that's just yeah. it. Exactly. Now, has they, I, I really honestly didn't do too much research on this though. But was the you know the PS4, the Orbis, I believe they were called it, or the yeah. Xbox 720? I think what they call it, Durango, code name Durango for now. Yeah, that's has the they code confirmed names. that they're not going to do uh, like reverse uh, backward, basically backward compatibility? No, that, they that's not confirmed yet. Everything is really rumors. Um, I did see something online that uh, the the PlayStation, the Orbis, its roadmap had been leaked to where it's saying that uh, that that basically the roadmap is what Sony plans on doing all leading up to the release of the uh, the console, or the the reveal of it, and that's just uh, time land time time frames of how they're going to go about doing that. Now, the uh, nothing has been confirmed except for the fact that yes there will be two new consoles coming out so you can take uh the the thing is when you see information like that you have to go from with the source is if it's a source right, that right. that's like a big name source like if ign says it or, or kotaku says it or or uh, uh what is it game spot or it's a website like that if you're right. more inclined to believe those sites if it, it, you know, over some guy that you see walking down the street or something, you know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's a lot of information that's being thrown around right now. But this, this is the the uh, the the feature that prevents pre-owned games from being played. That is something that has come up repeatedly over and over again, and it's something that I'm worried about because I live and die by the pre-owned games. 
I don't, oh, yeah. you know, I rarely ever buy a brand new game. If I can get it pre-owned, even if I'm saving five or ten dollars, I'm going to get it. Because You'll catch a new game pre-owned all the time. Like it could just come out that last week, and you go to the next week, and someone somewhere trade that game back in, saying maybe they didn't like it, and get something else. Right? Yeah, yeah. And that's what I look for. That's what I look for. You know, and uh, that's something that that really alarmed me because, like I said, I I enjoy pre-owned games, and I want to know if that is true. What are the companies going to do to uh, help customers? Still want to buy, like, and how how are they going to keep us customers? Need, you know, they need to keep what they've been doing, and, and I've been seeing it like happen, like a big. Uh, what's what I want to use? But they're just kind of following in line. I see a lot of it doing it is uh, keeping downloadable content already included in this game. You know, basically like little bonus things. Hey, if you right. pre-order this game, you know, you do a pre-order, you get not only all this downloadable content, you know, you might get a little bonus figurine, you know, things like that. Right. Yeah. When you see like a special package like that, you're, you're going to be more inclined to want to purchase that thing. You know, pre-order. You know, before and new. Then as a used, you know, a used game. So. Yeah, yeah. I would also like to see discounts in the prices. Uh, I don't. I think I, it's my belief that if you download, if you give something digitally, you're not paying for the case and the game art. So uh, theoretically, it should cost a little bit more at the bottom end. You know, when the customer right. pays, than just paying sixty dollars for it. But I don't know yeah. how how that works out. But uh, I just I'm eager to see what the consoles have to offer, and and what if that is included, what is going to be done to prevent people from starting riots across the world? It, it, you it know? Be, yeah, uh, like, say, like again, like I'm, like what I was just talking about, uh, Assassin's Creed, you know, just came out. Mm-hmm. Uh, when I purchased it, you know, I purchased it a little bit late. I got it for Christmas, matter of fact. Yeah, uh, it had tons of downloadable content included in it. With right. everything, you know, the whole different version of the game, you know, character, all that kind of stuff, man. Right. So. Right. Keeping, keeping in line with that kind of stuff is, what, is what's going to help them stay afloat. GameStop, like I said, being being more reasonable to the customers, uh, loyal, staying at uh, lower prices, more flexible, more, like I said, seasonal discounts on things. And mm-hmm. I think that's what's going to help them in the long run with this with this whole new backwards compatibility kind of game and issue going on. Right, right. But yeah, man. Uh, shit, man. I, hopefully we can do this on a weekly basis. I know we're both busy and everything. But oh yeah. yeah, this is uh this is starting on. We started 2013 on a good foot, man. Like I said, not having it in the game caviar studios with J Beads. Finally, um, come back. Been real busy. Had the family life. We got you know a new wife, new kid. Got a new one on the way. So I yeah. kind of stepped, stepped out the game for a little bit, but kind of definitely trying to get back in it. Help yeah. out with not having it uh, with the whole game caviar movement because I've supported all the way. So definitely. Hell yeah. Every week, man, as much as we can, definitely. Okay, man. All right, man. Well, shit, I'll holler at you, man. Let me uh, go ahead and put this video together and upload it, man, and then uh, we'll go from there. Yes, sir. Peace. All right, man. Peace. Later. Later. This has been a Game Caviar production. Like this video and subscribe for more.